Hey everybody, and you are watching slash listening to The Nutrition Show, the official podcast of The Nutrition Store LLC. Today is episode two of Beyond the Sups, and I wanted to hop on here for a few minutes and just talk to you guys about knowing when to back off. You got to know when to fold up, know when to fold up. When I say this, I'm referring to a lot of things, really. Uh, talking about work, um, the gym, your diet, your habits throughout the day and throughout the week that make you who you are. Knowing when to back off and knowing when you're burnout and being able to identify those key factors of burnout is very important to make sure that you're good long term. This happens mostly when we're young. You get started on a good workout routine and you keep going, you keep seeing great progress, and you keep moving forward. And after a certain amount of time, those gains start to get little by little, less and less and less. And more often than not, it can start to mess with our head. What starts to happen is you try to go in and continue putting forth the same intensity and the same effort into the gym when your mind and your body is just not there. You are essentially under-recovered. Now, Overtraining is largely a myth in the physiology spectrum, but under recovery is very, very much true because there's multiple avenues of recovery. There's mental, there's spiritual, there's physical, obviously. And all of those things play a key role. So knowing when you are burnt out is very important. So let's go over some key steps here on how to identify whether you are burnt out in the gym, in life, in anything really. So for one, do you feel as if you're going through the motions? If you're going to the gym or if you're going into work every day and you just feel as if you're just plugging through the numbers, you're just doing the least amount possible to get said result, that may be a sign that you are going through burnout. Are you in your own head about it? Okay, if you miss a number or if you don't hit a certain sales goal in business that you wanted to hit, are you beating yourself up about it constantly and you're thinking about things that you did wrong? or et cetera, et cetera, or what you could have done. That could be a sign of burnout. And for three, do you feel stale? Now, this is totally different than just going through the motions like step one, where you're just going in and doing what you need to do. Feeling stale is having that lack of creativity, that lack of passion, that lack of drive that you once had when you started a program or started your business or started your job. Those three things can be simple identifiers as to you going through burnout. But what do you need to do to capitalize on that and hopefully back up and reset yourself in the proper path for success? The best thing that I've found personally to do this, whether it's with business or with the gym, is to take a step back. And by that, I mean remove yourself from your day-to-day environment. Uh, What this could involve is taking a weekend trip somewhere, uh, maybe two to three hours away from your hometown, from your business, from your gym, from whatever. Take a few. Just take a few days away, even a day, get away. Don't think about it. Don't even have any of the applications that you use. Don't, don't, don't put yourself near it, right? That has often helped me. Even a 24-hour reset can help me get back into gear for months on end. So it's really amazing, guys. Another little tip that I've often found that helps me is revisiting a previous version of myself. Now, this is not going back in time, but what it can involve is basically looking back at some of the accomplishments that you've done in the past and trying to position yourself in that state of mind that you were in back when those things happened. Whether you set a PR, you won a competition, you uh, got an award in business or in your job, put yourself back in those shoes and remember the uh, the drive that you had during those times. And another third tip and final tip that I have uh, for avoiding burnout or hopefully repositioning yourself, uh, realigning yourself with your goals is just that. Take a step back to the goals that you set yourself when you started your endeavor, whether, like I said, whether it's your program, whether it's your sport, your business, what goals did you set for yourself originally and what was that version of yourself aiming to achieve? Simply by revisiting those things, it can realign you, get you back in the mindset of success, and really push you forward, okay? Now, in the side of the gym spectrum, right, just gym specifically, guys, if you're going into the gym and you just mentally are not there, right, there's a whole method of thinking, method of thinking saying, just power through the pain, don't be a little bitch. But in all reality, if your mind's not there and you are just kind of going through the motions, it's probably best just to take that day and reset and try to recalibrate and put it push your workout back to tomorrow. You know, your gains are not going to dissipate that quickly. And 
that could be the same said for a lot of other things in your life. So guys, hope this has helped. You know, I personally was experiencing this in the gym this morning, and that's what inspired me to make this little uh, brief podcast for you guys. So this is Beyond the Sups, a subsector of the nutrition show. And thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We look forward to hearing from you very, very soon. You got to know when to hold up, know when to fold up.